So far this year I had been pretty good, only buying one new book, a biography of my favorite author, Georgette Hare. But this month, I went a little crazy. First I got an order from Amazon. I ordered the second in the selection series by Kira Cass, The Elite, because my library just wasn't getting it. Then I ordered the latest in the Mrs. Jeffrey's Victorian Mystery series by Emily Brightwell. It's a simple series, but I really like it. And then in the clearance section, I got Persuading Annie, which is a modern update of Persuasion by Jane Austen, and Prada and Prejudice, which is a time travel, modern day retelling of Pride and Prejudice. And I just keep getting these Austen sequels because I have Austenitis. Then I went to my local bookstore chapters and got these three books in the clearance section for $2 each. Midnight in Austenland by Shannon Hale, which is self-explanatory. Then Faking It, The Quest for Authenticity in Popular Music. It's non-fiction. And then this one, First Principles, The Crazy Business of Doing Serious Science. It's about a scientific institute in Canada. Then I went to a used book fair in my area, where all the books are $1.50, and got a couple of history books. This biography of King Edward VII, 1939, The Last Season, about society in England before World War II, The Duchess of Bloomsbury Street, which is the sequel to 84 Charing Cross Road, which I read for the first time last year and which I loved, so I really think that I like this sequel. Then, to round off my poetry collection, I got the collected or complete poems of Tennyson, Browning, Milton, Pope, and Longfellow. Well, that should keep me going for a while.